talk about why do we see insurgency and terrorism. And again, I'm going to conflate the two with apologies to uh, some real experts in the room. But, but let me try to, to, to um, bring these together and, and really try to simplify. When I taught at West Point, I used to get a class of cadets that came in right after boxing class, just after getting pummeled. I mean, literally coming in with, with cotton, um, trying to keep their noses from bleeding. Um, they've been up all night. Um, they're busy. So I had to kind of simplify the, this. this and, and at the risk of oversimplifying a very complex topic, I'm going to try to break this down into a way that I hope you can remember. And after class, you can even recall it. You know, if I see you on campus you know, months from now, you'll, you'll remember a couple things about this class. So let's talk about why individuals join insurgent groups, terrorist groups. I can argue there's two reasons, just two. Okay. Um, anyone want to take a stab? I'll, uh, well, well let, let, me, let me preempt you because I know some of you may have uh, read my notes. Um, two reasons. They want to and they can. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm all done. I'm just going to go back. No. Um, there's, there's more to that. Um, and again, this, this, is a, this is a real gross simplification, but, but I think you can, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an effective way to, to kind of get your head around this complex topic. Um, and there's probably two reasons they want to. Let's look at that first. I would argue that it's some type of, wh why might they want to? Why might individuals want to participate in insurgency and terrorism? Let's have some reasons. It's profitable. Profitable, okay, good one, good one. Security. Their own security, they're, they're, they, maybe the government's not protecting them, they, they, they need to protect themselves, okay. I know we got some experts here. Um, wh why, why, would someone, why would someone join an insurgent group? Their ideology. Great, okay. They, maybe they feel like within the current government they're just not getting, you know, they feel like they're not protecting their, their interests or, you know, in the, maybe they feel like their religion's under attack. Um, and, you know, we could probably broadly group all these into, you know, let's call them grievances, okay? Um, most of these. And what would we call yours, Ryan? If, if we had to switch, you know, you know we're talking about why individuals want to, to, to participate in these groups. What, what, the two reasons I would say, um, two reasons they want to would be grievances, some type of socioeconomic grievance, ideological grievance, religious grievance, um, identity-based grievance, or maybe greed, right? They're profiting, right? Um, so two reasons we see, see insurgency and terrorism or people participate are, it's a test, because they want to, okay? Two reasons they might want to, Broadly defined is, I think, some type of grievance or some type of greed. Okay, and I'll, I'll hit the, the second reason in a minute. Um, but let's talk about, uh, let, me, let me try to drive that home, wh why that's a challenge to the counterinsurgent. When you've got a variety of, of motives for, for participation in insurgency terrorism, what type of challenge that presents the, the counterinsurgent or the counterterrorism terrorist? So let me try to see if I can find a few uh, willing insurgents to, to help, me, uh, help me make this. So we got, we got four here. Um, so Ryan, Lumpy, Shannon, and Sean. Got it. Um, so let's see. Let's say you're all four insurgents, okay? But you, you basically, um, but you're you're participating in insurgency for a different reason, okay? Um, Ryan, you, you, you're kind of socio. Now you're 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 there for socioeconomic reasons. You know, you don't you don't have a job. You don't have an education. You, there's no future for your family. Um, you don't have clean water. I mean, you're, you're basically a country western song here, it's just in, in, in real life, okay? You're hating it. So, and the, the government is not providing for you. You feel like the only way to provide for your family and your own needs is to step outside of the fold and, and rebel, okay? Um, Lumpy, let's call your, there's something about the way you look, your identity, your ideology, something about you or your family or, or where you go to church or something about your identity that, that marginalizes you within your own government. And there's no future for you in your own government um, and you feel like, I'm, I either got to separate from this government or I got to take this government down to get what I deserve, okay? So socioeconomic, identity-based grievance. Um, okay, so Shannon, let's see. You were in a wedding last month, and I'm, I'm sorry to say, but a not-so-smart smart bomb kind of landed in the middle of it, killed your parents and your little sister, and you're angry. Okay, you hate the government. You blame the government for the deaths of your family. Okay, you want revenge. That's, that's why you're going to fight. Um, Sean, you're my criminal, okay? <laughs> Terrorism and is paying for you, okay? You're, 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 making hand, you're making money hand over fist in these illegal activities that are possible because of your participation in these insurgent groups. Okay, how much money is enough money? I don't know. It's never enough, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you always want more, right? So you're profiting and you want to keep profiting. So, so here comes a, a well-meaning counterinsurgent, may look like me, um, that shows up and says, um, you know what? 
I'm going to I'm going to reduce the threat of insurgency in this area by addressing the root causes of it. You know, I'm going to dig a well, build a school, give you a job, just make your life better. Okay? Are you going to maybe think I'm about interested. Okay. You think you might lay down that that AK-47 possibly? I'd probably bury it in my backyard. Okay. But Okay, but you might stop fighting. I'd probably stop fighting for a little while. Lumpy, there's just something funny about you that I, I'm not. I think you're going to still be marginalized. There is. Um, you got to get Shannon, out. Shannon, sorry, your parents are still dead, um, and Sean, you're still making money. So, this counterinsurgent intervention it may address one root cause and select some people out of the, the fight, but a lot of others aren't going to feel like their their core their 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 motives for participation have been met, and that's a real challenge. Um, so I might come in and say. Hey, next next time, guy from the government comes to Columbia, we're going to give you your own autonomous state. We're going to let you practice your religion, if if you will, or funny looking people like you are going to do whatever they want, and and it's fine, okay? And I'm just this is all for the class here. Um, are you still poor, uneducated, and you know live in the country western song? Yeah. Okay. I mean... Parents still dead, still making money, okay? Or the other extreme. Let's say <laughs> the heck with these insurgents. We're just going to take a you know, here comes the hellfire coming down right on you guys because we know there's nothing we can do to select you guys out. Um, may have taken both of you out. May have taken some other people that are related to you out that would create, you know, more incentives for. Now you may become a revenge seeking insurgent. So you could extend this further, but the takeaway here is addressing the root causes of insurgent terrorism is really challenging because they're very diverse, and one prescription may not address others. So have some pity on the, the, the well-meaning counterinsurgents because it's, it's very hard. Um, so let's get back to the other reason why we see individuals participate in insurgency and terrorism. First one is they can, and they can because of some type of grievance or greed, profit motive. What's the other reason? Because they, oh, I'm sorry, first reason is they want to. I, I, I take it back. The second reason, and I pulled the cat out of the bag here. Um, second reason is they can. They can. Okay, and why, why can they? I would say. The intuitive reason is because states can't stop them, right? Okay? This is, think of weak states with poor police forces, military forces. You know, you look at, you know, I spent a lot of time in the Philippines, you know, several thousand islands in that country, a few hundred more at low tide. Um, really hard to police areas like that. You think, think of other places with, with rough terrain and mountains. In some cases, a state wants to, st it wants to stop their problem with insurgency and terrorism, but they can't just because of low state capacity. Um, and, the prescription for that is pretty, pretty um, straightforward. You can go in and build capacity of the state, help train the security forces, help, um, help states, uh, either third parties or the states themselves, can, can, can build their capacity to address these threats. Um, but there's another reason why states, um, why white insurgents can, uh, people can participate in insurgency and terrorism. You know, states can't stop them, or states, what else? A little more counterintuitive. Maybe states don't want to stop them. Don't, or, you know, and it may not be this, it, it, the, the senior levels of government, it could be at some local level of government. Um, so that presents a particular challenge um, and for the counterinsurgent. Um, so let's, uh, let's start with one more vignette, okay? Come on, you guys are, uh, we, need, we, we need to reinforce it. Can I get a few district governors in Afghanistan? Um, Sam, Sean, Ryan, you up for this? Okay, um, let's see how we can do. So, let me start with uh, let me start with Sean. Okay, so your district, you're you're in Afghanistan. You're doing a great job with your uh, with your district. Okay, you are running with a tight fist. You're keeping this insurgency problem down. You're you're, you're enforcing order and discipline. You know, business is good. Um, it's secure investment environment. I mean, you're just doing an amazing job. Okay, and it's it's incredible. Okay, um, Shannon. Yeah, you're doing okay. You got some problems. Got some, you know, a few IDs here and there. Some insurgency issues, but yeah, you're you're holding it together. It's just not great. Um, Ron, yours is a disaster. Okay, I mean things are just going crazy in your district. I mean it's it's just running rampant with with insurgency and terrorism. Um, so enter a well-meaning counterinsurgent. Okay, I minute mean, we've got no problems, um, some problems, lots of problems. Okay, so um, Ryan. Um, you got a problem with uh, insurgency terrorism? I just so happen to have a few uh, hundred thousand dollar bills here from uh, from my government. I um, even dug into my uh, last trip to. So we're going to help you with your your problem here. Okay. Thank you. 
Here's a, here you go. I'm gonna need a few more. All right, <laughs> All right. good. Thank you. You're doing amazing work, keep it up, okay? Um, Shannon, um, you probably need about, yeah, just a little bit, okay? Yeah, just take the edge off of that, that problem, okay? You're doing okay? All right? All right, Shannon, okay. great job. Keep it up. Where's my money? Awesome, no, keep it up, you're doing great, man. Keep it up, okay? So, uh, um, I'm gonna come back in six months, okay? I'm gonna say, Ryan, you, you solved that, that insurgency problem yet? Not quite. Okay. Oh, well, let me double more. down, man. I'm gonna give you some more here, man. Okay, <laughs> you're doing great work, okay? Keep it up. Better or worse, Shannon? Worse. worse? Oh, let me give you a little bit of So, yeah. Trump, good job, man. Really, keep it up. You're just doing amazing work. Uh, things here. are getting horrible over here. Oh, I think I need some there money. you yeah. go. Enhance the problem. So, sometimes the best meaning efforts of the counterinsurgent or even the counterterrorist can have the exact opposite effect. Because if, you know, if you, for those of you who are familiar with game theory, you may create incentives for the exact opposite uh, outcome that you want. If you start to condition aid on level of instability, insurgency, terrorism, you know, in equilibrium, you're gonna end up getting more of insurgency and terrorism because you're actually rewarding it as opposed to punishing it. Now, there's no easy solution, um, but it is something the counterinsurgent and the counterterrorist needs to be aware of, that sometimes Programs intended to address the problem can actually make the problem worse. Um, so it's, it's, it's not just as easy as saying, where do we have a problem? Let's, let's throw our resources there. You have to be very careful and create incentives to get the outcome you want. Maybe have some conditional aid. Very, very complex and difficult challenge for the counterinsurgent.